been Sartastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be creating something rather spooky. It's a bit of a different take on Valentine's Day. You see, this guy is a monster that has had its heart stolen out from its chest. <laughs> so this is a uh, teens and up sort of artwork. Just putting that information out there. So if you are somebody who is 18 and up, then you can join me to create this lovely artwork. You can you can grab any choice art making medium. So your choice of something to draw with and your choice of something to color with. In this video art tutorial, you're gonna see that I've picked just things around me. So I'm using um, permanent markers. So I'm using the alcohol based markers. If you're wondering why my colored markers are not blending or bleeding, these are just alcohol based markers. I have a couple different types. One, um, you'll often see me using the Winsor Newton Pro markers, but um, a lot of time you can, I just have some of the Michaels brand Artist Loft ones. They're, they're more affordable. So if you're just starting out, you just grab whatever you have. Or if you don't want to use all these markers, use any choice art making mediums. It doesn't matter. Colored pencils or pencil crayons. You can use wax colors. You could use anything that makes you happy. Or you can even follow along and do this digitally if you don't want to use real pencil and paper. Or even you can use just black and white. It's all up to you. You are the artist of your design and I am guiding you through something spooky. So if you want to start playing with art, trying something new and just breaking out of the mold, this is a lovely kind of sort of cute but creepy artwork, a little bit more lowbrow grunge type of style. Um, and then the other art making medium you're going to notice I'm using is watercolor paint just to do some of the bigger areas. Okay, so again, you use whatever you want to draw with. It's up to you and you grab something to color with. Again, that's your artist choice and feel free to add your own artist flavor anytime you want to this art making medium. Remember, this is a teens and up design. Um, so keep that in mind. So grab something to draw with, grab something to draw on and something to color with and let's make this stolen heart sort of Valentine's Day monster. Let's make some art. Let's do a heart monster. <laughs> Here we go. Let's draw some horns. So two horns on either side. You can do some nice curving horns. Or give it whatever horn style you would like. And the horns we can draw some curving lines. Next, we're going to draw a nice arm up and over. And I want to make it a bit weird, so I'm going to have it kind of come up and over like that. And then I'm going to draw a heart, but a real one. Add nice little heart there. And I'm going to have its monster fingers kind of reaching around and holding this heart. There we go. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna give it Mr. Monster here. Some eyebrows. And then we're gonna use some half circles for eyes. I'm gonna create a sort of triangular nose here. Just like that. Next, I'm 
Next we're going to draw the head. Now I'm purposely trying to distort some of these lines here so it is a bit more strange and unusual. And then I'm going to reach this line up and over into the back. And we're going to have a nice little shawl here for our monster that it's wearing. And then ring a nice sort of cape down and over its body. So it's wearing this sort of cape. Just like that. Right. Next, we're going to have one hand reaching up here from below or beneath the cape. And then we're going to have its chest sort of open. And, of course, there is no heart in there. So it's going to be darkness. The heart is missing, it's pulled it out. It's been stolen. I'll just finish off the bottom of the body there with some zigzag lines. I'm just going to add the texture of the body, which is kind of a fuzzy monster. So we're going to add some zigzag lines here and there to kind of increase that. And also going to add those along the edge of the face there. I'm going to add some drama to the eyes. And by making them the focal point, I'm going to thicken up the lines along the bottom of it to create some contrast. And then I'll add the pupils on the inside with another half circle. And in each of those, I'm gonna add another little smaller half circle. So that will stay white and I'm gonna color in the pupil leaving that little circle white for the glare of light. Okay, we can add some expressive lines around the eyes as we start adding detail. Now the more detail, the more intrigue we'll get. Right, the more visual interest we are bringing to our work. We'll create some sorrow on our poor monster here who's lost its heart. And I'm adding a bit more thicker lines around the head because I want that to be my focal point. So I'm going to add the most contrast to there. Just like that. And then you can give your monster mouth. So I'm going to add just kind of a emotionless mouth with some teeth poking out from the bottom. And then we'll add monsters little legs or feet peeking out from below its body. And we'll use our hatching lines to start adding some shadows below the body. And 
And I want this heart to appear like it's glowing, so I'm gonna have this kind of glow sort of orbing around it. And then I'm gonna go around my perimeter of my drawing and I'm just going to outline it around the whole perimeter just to thicken up the outside. Tidy up my lines and make it bold and beautiful. Just the outside only. And of course, we're gonna add some further details to the body. So you can add some more fur to the arm holding up the heart there. Maybe you want to add tatters to your cape. Or shawl. So I like to add some thinner lines and have them juxtaposed to the larger ones. Maybe you can add some patches here and there. And maybe some loose strings coming off. As it's starting to kind of fall apart here. Perfect. Once you're done drawing your monster with a stolen heart, <laughs> you're ready to color it. All right, grab your choice of art making mediums and finish making some art.
once you're done filling in your artwork, your lovely stolen heart monster is done. Hi there, thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons. So this is another way you can explore Artastic lessons. So one, make sure that you go and find me on Instagram and TikTok. I am artastic.kids and please follow me, check it out. You'll find lots of different ways to grab art lessons and you'll also find out when new art lessons are dropped to YouTube and other places such as the blog. Next, you can go to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Make sure that you become a subscriber because my friend, this is where I post a ton of weekly art drawing tutorials or art lessons for you to explore for free at home or in a classroom. And finally, make sure you go to artastickids.com. This is an essential place to go if you are someone if you're a kid looking to create art or if you're a homeschool parent or if you're just a parent or guardian looking to find art lessons for your kids to allow them to become creative, to prevent the whole let's get started um, at the kitchen table and they are not really wanting to create with their parent, don't worry because I will guide them through the art lessons and I will prevent them from getting stuck at the blank page. I know that is a huge struggle. So check it out, artastickids.com. There you'll find a blog full of free different art lessons, art lesson activity ideas, seasonal art ideas, and so much more, as well as my membership, which is my collection of art lessons online. It is an online streaming art lesson platform for families, homeschool, or classrooms, and you will be able to allow your child to um, stimulate their creative thinking and critical thinking skills, build on their motor skills, as well as they get to enjoy five new art lessons added every single month to the membership every single month. It is a growing art resource library, so you'll get hundreds of art lessons, and then every single month, five new ones are added and it, there are lots of sneak peek preview videos so make sure you go to artastickids.com hit the get started button and I will see you in the membership enjoying new art lessons added every single month.